Dynamic block fundamentals. Dynamic blocks allow us to increase our productivity and allows us to reduce the size of our symbol libraries. Dynamic blocks allows us to adjust the sizes and the shapes and the geometry uh, well in the block reference. And so it can be dynamic. So therefore we can add uh, different we can assign uh, different parameters, actions, geometric constraints, and constraint parameters to the block. So, for example, our action parameters are parameters which allows, uh, allows an action allows the controls of how the dynamic block uh, parameters are going to behave. Uh, and we can also put constraints uh, that we used uh, earlier uh, in our uh, dynamic um, and when we constrained our various uh, geometry we could put those types of constraints in as well. So for an example here we have an architectural door. We use uh, various types of action parameters when we click on the on the door we get various parameters such as I can touch click this and it'll flip the direction of the door so by just clicking on it back and forth I click on the I can also click on this one and it has which side the door is hung on on this wall or on that wall so I can flip which side the door is hung on I come over here and I can set the door size and I can have them to preset sizes such as 32, uh, such as 36, uh, and so it'll go to those sizes. I can also come over here and I can set the different width values of the wall, how thick the wall is for that. So I get a lot of different controls and I can also set the angle. Let's say I want to open to 60 degrees or I want it to be uh, closed. So I have all kinds of options here that I can do. Open at 45. So these items are called grips. These blue uh, action uh, colors are called grips. So let's zoom in on this uh, on this bolt here. Here's another example. When I click on it, I get various grips. So I grab onto the end of this and I can change the various lengths. Now one block can have all these different lengths. Instead I would have to have individual blocks in my block libraries to change those. I can change now the width of this value uh, to certain increments. Uh, so I can change the width of these things. Uh, and I can actually just move it around with this other grip. So I have a variety of things dynamically that I can do in my dynamic blocks, but the main purpose of our dynamic blocks is that we can provide increased productivity and reduce the size our, of our symbol libraries and make our symbol libraries a little bit more manageable. And we do this by using action parameters and we also can put constraints to, uh, dimensional constraints that can control our uh, dimension sizes.